Hey y'all, it's TX Stamp and Sharon. Welcome to Mystery Monday. Today is Monday, April the 3rd of 2023. We are cruising right through this year. Um, <clears throat> it's been a very windy day today here in Kyle, Texas, where I am at. Um, if you are new to mystery stamping, I hope that you will give this a shot because it's just plain fun. I'm just, I just got to tell you, it's just a lot of fun. So, um, I want to say hello to everybody who's joining in the chat. Um, I hope that um, everybody is finding us as we are going live. I like to give everybody a minute or two um, to get that notification. If you're new to my channel and you would like to be notified, I invite you to subscribe below the video and then ring that little notification bell. Um, hopefully you'll be notified. Hope you'll be seeing the notification when it's time for us to go live to do mystery stamping. So, Oh my goodness. Hello, Deborah. Hi, Bunny from Michigan. Hi, Gail from Australia. Um, hello, Deborah. Hi, Linda from Illinois, stormy Illinois. I know though this, this crazy weather this year has just been all over the place. Today it was 92 here. It's like, what? Where did that come from? And then on Thursday, I think it's going to be 66. So Hence the allergies, hence the crazy weather um, causing all this ruckus on us. So, hello, Anita from Huntersville, North Carolina. Hi, Margaret. Hi, Sharon. Okay, I think people have been finding us. Good job. Everybody is hopping on. Okay, so on Sunday, I emailed out the first clue. And I was peeking around over on the Mystery Stampers Facebook group. And some of y'all think you've already got it figured out. So we're just going to see if you're right. So we'll see. Um, I think it's fun when y'all try to figure out what I'm, what I'm up to. Sometimes you're right, sometimes not. But we have two sayings here with Mystery Stamping, right? Number one, no stress. That is the first rule. This is meant to be a fun activity. We are using the supplies that you have at home to make a card. Bottom line. Number two, our second rule is if you get off on a clue, you know, like my clues, I'm never going to know because I'm not there with you. We are saying is just go rogue. You've got all the pieces of cardstock and paper cut for from clue number one. Just make a card. And if you've already guessed what the card is, you've made your card. And that's the goal for mystery stamping. There you go. Okay. Lavina says, just go rogue. That's right. Debbie says, go rogue. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait for our t-shirts to come in. I think it's going to be super fun to have everybody's just go rogue t-shirts on. So, <clears throat> um, okay. Here is the first clue, and I realized that my date did not show up on this one, but um, after the live is over at 8 p.m. Central, you can go over and download the clues that I am going to be using tonight. How many of y'all do that? Let me know in the chat. Do you go over to the blog and download those? Just curious. Am I, am I wasting my time by doing that? I don't think so. I think some of y'all do. So, um. Okay, so let's get started. Ah, I'm seeing some yeses, yeses, yeses. Okay, all right. <clears throat> Clue number two. I want you to add the designer series paper that measures two and three quarters by five and a quarter to the front flap of the card with adhesive. Now, your first measurement was kind of an odd one. Five and a half by seven and a quarter. Scored and folded at four and a quarter. Okay. So we are adding some designer series paper to that front flap. Mary's card crafts. Always download your PDF tutorial. Uh, good vibes, good vibes, good vibes. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Uh, Pam says, I do. Then I add the picture of my card and put it in the binder. Perfect. Uh, Gloria says, I go download clues. 
and my daughters and I Zoom on Sunday using your clues to make a card. How sweet is that, Gloria? Thank you for sharing that. I'm so glad I asked this question then. Who else, who else is doing mystery stamping using my clues with a family member or a friend? You know, you guys can invite your family and friend to join friends to join us over here on the live. But I think that's so sweet, Gloria. Thanks for sharing that. Uh, Linda Delgado says, I download the clues. Don't stop sending them out, please. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Diane says, we download, save, print, and put in a Sharon Armstrong Monday mystery stamping notebook. That's a mouthful. We often go to the book at a later date and make them again. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. All right. When you guys are done, I think you guys are getting done with clue number two. I got busy reading your comments. Uh, when you're done with clue number two, please type done two in the comments. If you're watching the replay, you do not have to type the word done two. Um, just simply stop and start the video to make the rest of your card. Okay. Rue says, I downloaded your clues and instructions. I have loved learning. Whoops, whoops, whoops. I've loved learning new ways of making cards. Thank you. I think that mystery stamping helps y'all be more creative using the supplies that you have. What do you think? I think so. Um, Michelle says, am I missing something? Is a flap on the left or the right? Well, Michelle, here's my prop just in case. <clears throat> flap is going to be on the left because that's how we open a card. How's that? Is that a good, is that a good clue? Mary eight says she does the same thing too. All right. Ah, Leslie Herring says I do that with my friends once a month. There you go. Eileen says I do it with friends 50% of the time. Perfect. And Sheila says she does it with her sister every week. Yay, guys. Thank you. Thanks for sharing that. Um, sometimes I download. But Bonita says sometimes I download clues and then I'll cut the paper into different colors and then play with my card class making a Mystery Monday card. There you go. Antoinette says she also keeps a binder with Sharon's. Clues and also a picture of her card. Perfect. Um, Wyla says, mystery stamping always inspires her. Yay, I'm so glad. Clue number three, I want you to add the adhesive to the inside of the one inch flap of the four and a quarter by four and a quarter and center it on the basic white layer that measures four inches by five and a quarter on the long side. What does that mean? We're putting adhesive right here. Maybe. <clears throat> and we're going to attach it here. Okay. There we go. That is clue number three. When you're done with clue number three, type done three. Hi, Amanda. You're not that late, Amanda. <clears throat> clue number two was to add the designer series paper that's two and three quarters by five and a quarter to the front flap of the card with adhesive. This is our front flap. And then clue number three is to add the adhesive to the inside of that one inch strip, one inch flap, <clears throat> and add it to the basic white. Virginia says that props are very helpful. Well, you're very welcome. Oh yeah, it was very windy here today. Um, I had a uh, little grandson Baylor over. Um, I picked him up at daycare and brought him over to the house for a little bit. It's so fun to live close enough that I can do that. And of course he wanted to sit outside and I was like, Oh, Mimi's allergies are not doing good, but I did. I sat outside with him and he thought it was super funny. 
as a two-year-old would, that my hair was blowing up. <laughs> oh, goodness. It was fun. We had a good time. Kate Wright Baylor is just so cute. And he just, he was so happy. It was a surprise that I picked him up today. He didn't know I was coming. So he was like shocked that I went. So it was fun. <clears throat> Beverly says that the, the props are very helpful. You know, when it's a fun fold, I do want to have the props available if you need them. So, and if for some reason, remember, we're not stressing. Mystery stamping is no stress, remember? So if for some reason I don't have a prop and you're stressing, let me know. I'll go find a piece of cardstock and we'll fix it. Can I show three again? Sheila, this is three. Ah, Eileen says, I think I've become more creative since doing Mystery Monday. Mm -hmm. I think so. You guys have been crushing it on your, on your mystery cards that you post over on the Facebook group. Um, Sheila, I'm not real sure what you're wanting. Let me know. I mean, it, did you want to see the prop? So I added some adhesive to the inside of this and I stuck it here. Does that help? Linda Scott says, thank you. Thank you for the prop. So very helpful. You're welcome. Wanda says, love your nails. Okay. I had to switch my nails. I know y'all think I'm like obsessive with these nail strips. Um, <clears throat> I learned something. Don't put the nail, because this is kind of plastic. Don't put the nail near a hot pot. I melted my beautiful one that I just put on, the straps, the serape. Um, I was so sad, so I ordered some more. I was like, I only got to wear them like less than a week. These things last a long time. <clears throat> if you don't put it near a hot pot. Um, you're adding the glue to the inside of that one inch. I had you score that. Okay, at one inch, this is the four and a quarter by four and a quarter. And I had you score it at one inch. And we're adding adhesive on the inside so that we can stick it to the basic wax. Okay, does that help, Sheila? So these nails are, nail strips are from Dusty Roads. And I've had so much fun with them that... Um, I mean, the first pair I wore, I think I wore them almost three weeks. They last a long time. What's going to happen is, you know, once your nail starts to grow out, then you'll be able to see it. But um, they they don't take long to put on. They're easy to take off. Um, they are actually not flowers. They are um, 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 sun catchers. You know, the little uh, Indian sun catchers. So these are all Western motifs. Um, but they're sun catchers and they're all different colors, lights and darks and just so fun with the feathers. I mean, TX Stampin', oh, right up my alley, right up my alley. If you guys are interested about the nails, you can look below the video. There is a link um, that you can go look at my website because I decided, uh, like everybody else who just gets the starter kit, I'm going to get the deal. So I got the starter kit and they sent me a whole bunch of nails and my uh, nails nail stickers, nail strips in my starter kit. So there you go. Um, okay, Cleon wants to know what clue number two was. Here we go. So we have two and three. Dream catchers. Yes, what did I say? Some catcher? Dream catchers. I think it, what did it say? <clears throat> These are called Dream On, but they're, there you go. They're all different colors. Super fun. Okay. Cleon, does that help you? Oh, Mary Alexander, which game are you watching? Uh, the, <laughs> the one that my son-in-law is at in Houston? Mm -hmm. Yukon. Huskies. <laughs> That's all we hear around here. All right. I think you guys are done with two and three. Kate, I do too. They're just so fun. You know, stampers, we love colors. And so all these are just so much fun uh, and so colorful that, um, yeah, I love them. Super fun. All right. Let's move on to clue number four. <clears throat> 
Add the basic wax that measures four inches by five and a quarter to the inside of the card with adhesive. Your small flap goes over, your small flap that you attach goes over the left front flap when you close your card. What does that mean? Okay. We're gluing this in. This is gonna be on the right hand side and it's gonna do that. Okay, there we go. All right, I think, I think I wanna stamp along with y'all. I actually like that side. You know, do y'all ever look at the designer series paper and you go, well, I really like the other side better. Can I use that instead? I don't know. Nah, I'm not going to. It's hard to decide. Y'all, yeah. tomorrow starts the sale on the items that are retiring. Whoa, I cut that wrong. The items that are retiring from the annual catalog and the uh, June, January april mini catalog things are flying off the shelf the stamparatus is sold out won't want i hope y'all got it if you wanted it because it is gone sold out over the weekend i guess i mean it's it caused quite the frenzy around here <laughs> it was pretty crazy all right when you guys are done with clue number four type done four i think i cut that i think i cut that out did I tell y'all the wrong measurements? Y'all didn't say anything. Maybe not. Um, What about parts for the Stamparatus? Um, about an hour ago, I did place an order for a customer for the foam pad, the six by six or the foam pad that goes on there and for the grid paper. So those were still available. I did not check the magnets. So if you want it, you better go get it because tomorrow when the things, everything goes on sale, well, not everything, everything that is gonna be on sale that starts tomorrow, April 4th, um, people are going to be placed in orders and things are just going to be gone. Okay. Kate says the measurements look good to you. I, I think I scored my card stuck wrong. <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. It's all good. It's all good. I'm not stressing. Not stressing. Mm -mm. Nope. Following rule number one, not stressing. Okay. Kay says the magnets are still available. Uh, Debbie says, I can still get the grid paper. I ordered three packs on Thursday. Okay, um, today the grid paper was available. Tomorrow it may be gone. I'm just saying, if there's anything on that list that is retiring and you guys want it, you can hold out for things going on sale tomorrow, but I'm just telling you, it, when it's gone, it's gone. And like I said, I was very surprised how fast that Stamparatus left us. Quickly, quickly, it was gone. Okay, how are we doing? What time does the sale start? I think at 3 a.m. Mountain time. Does it come with the foam pad to begin with? No. No, it does not. The Stamparatus does not. <clears throat> um, okay, y'all are saying 12 a.m.? I thought it was 3 a.m. Maybe I'm thinking, um, pre-order starts at 3 a.m. Lot Y'all, they threw a lot at us last week. It's hard to keep up, especially at my age. <laughs> Virginia says I might stay up. Okay, Kate says 3 a.m. Okay, that's what I thought too. Gail says, why are they not selling the Stamparatus anymore? Um, there was some issues with um, Brand X company um, and legal issues. So Stampin' Up! made the decision to pull it. Okay. Clue number five. Add the designer series paper that measures three inches by four inches to the small flap of the card front with adhesive. To the card with adhesive. Small flap of card. 
Y'all, this right here, we're putting it right here. If you're just now joining me, we are in the middle of Mystery Monday stamping. It is 7.20 p.m. Central, and I am live on April 3rd. We are about halfway through tonight's mystery card. If you are new to this whole concept and you're like, what is she talking about? What is a mystery card? Mystery card is where I give you clues to make a card using the supplies you have at home. When you are done with clue number five, type done five. So Cindy says 2 a.m. mountain. I heard 3 a.m. mountain in the middle of the night, mountain time. So y'all either stay up or go to bed and get up early. <laughs> um, hi, Beverly Benson from Idaho. I'm so glad that you're here too. Even if you signed under Larry's account. Yay. I'm glad you're here. Thanks for popping in. If you're new to mystery stamping, we hope that you guys will stick around. Watch me reveal and solve the mystery, which is a finished card. Um, we have a mystery stampers Facebook group that you can go over and ooh and ah at everybody else's cards. The thing about mystery stamping is that no two cards are ever the same. What was it last week? I think we came close using the same. Was it the same paper or the same stamp set? Who was that? Oh, I can't remember. Slept since then. Anyway, everybody's cards are different because you're all using different supplies, different colors of paper, stamps, ink. Okay. Um, and so it's so fun to see what everyone does with the same clue. It's kind of fun. Okay, let's see here. Oh, Becky says, love, love, love this card. Um, okay. What time can I order in New York is asking Helen. Get up early or stay up late. <laughs> 3 a.m. Mountain, you are three hours ahead of Mountain. So what is that, 6 a.m.? Y'all, don't tax my brain today. <laughs> it's Monday. Oh, that's right. So remember your time zone. It's 3 a.m. Mountain time. So if you're in Pacific Eastern Central, you need to adjust that clock. Five, oh, so it's two hours. Uh, Deborah says, okay, okay, okay. Deborah's got us all straightened out. Discontinue sale starts at 12 midnight mountain time. The pre order for demonstrator starts at 3 a.m. mountain time. Thank you, Deborah, for keeping us on track because sometimes we need that. We just go rogue way too many times here on Mystery Stamping. <laughs> if you're new, I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. If you're just popping on, we're doing something crazy called Mystery Monday Stamping. We do it every Monday night um, here on my YouTube channel at 7 p.m. Central. You can always watch the replay. Um, go back and remake the card uh, using the clues at 8 p.m. Central. Over on my blog, you can look below the video. A, a blog post will go live. And it will have the free download for this week's mystery card. You can also go back and look at previous mystery cards either on the blog. I have a tab up at the top that says mystery stamping. You can see those. You can also watch the replay here on my YouTube channel um, that uh, is in a playlist. Okay, let me scroll down here. <laughs> Maria says, I need my beauty sleep. That's what I thought. Um, <clears throat> Michelle says, Sharon Armstrong, TX Stampin', thank you. I need a ton of thank you cards since so many people are helping during a very stressful time. You're one of them, and I appreciate you. Well, Michelle, you're so welcome. I'm so glad that, you know, Mystery Monday is helping you make those, get those cards made. Then that's why we're here. You know, we started this during covid and we're going to keep on going. Clue number six. Now I want you to decorate the basic white layer that measures two and a quarter by three and a quarter. 
I want you to use stamps and greetings. Everything's going to go on that layer. You could use some punches or dies to add additional things to this layer. Okay. So this is your chance to get creative. You picked a stamp set. You pick some inks. You might have picked a die or a punch. When you're done with clue number six, type done six. And Margaret has come to the rescue with 3 a.m. Mountain Time is 5 a.m. Eastern Time. Very good, Margaret. Thank you. And then Inika is talking about Eastern Time. <laughs> That's a whole nother world. Um, I, I just think Inika is doing amazing because it's in the wee hours for her right now. And she is awake. She just loves mystery stamping so much. <laughs> but you know what? It's not just mystery stamping. When y'all are doing it live, you're interacting with everyone in the chat who have become part of your world, your community, your mystery stampers community. And if you're not able to um, hop on and join during the chat, don't forget, if you're on Facebook, you can always go over to the optional Facebook group and check out the cards over there that everybody's posting. Um, Renee says, is that for pre-orders only or for the sales also? Renee, if you're a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, pre-order starts at 3, sales started at midnight. So, <laughs> it's, it's kind of like anything you want, if it's on sale, you better go order on midnight at midnight, but then at 3 a.m. you can do your pre-order. So I would just take a chance and order it all at 3 a.m. <laughs> I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna stay up all night for an order. Cindy said it perfectly. It's the friendship, our stamping friendship. Yes, our stamping fellowship. Mm -hmm. That's what the Mystery Monday stampers are. We have such a friendship and everyone, you know, I have to brag on y'all because over in the Facebook group, you guys are loyal to mystery stamping. You are loyal to me. And I really appreciate that. I, I know that there's been a time or two that someone has maybe, um, because everybody's over there. It's demonstrators, it's customers, everybody's over there. Um, and and y'all are like, well, since this is Sharon's group, ask Sharon to help you place the order. And I, I salute y'all because I think that's amazing. I, I do. You guys are loyal and I appreciate you. Yep. And if I lose my voice, it's a good thing we have these written down. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm going to wait until tomorrow unless I can't sleep tonight. Uh, and I know, I know it's not Larry, um, but Larry Benson's wife <laughs> said that. Um, oh, hold on. Um, I see our friend Renee has popped on. Um, oh, Inika gets to order when it's still daylight. Interesting. Renee, I'm so glad you're here. Renee is my cohort with mystery stamping and bless her heart. She took a tumble. Um, but another person who is loyal to mystery stamping, she's like, send me the clues. I'm like, mm, maybe when you're not on pain pills, like you need to take care of yourself. She's like, nope, I'm bored. Send me the clues. So I did. I sent them to her. Hopefully she will listen to herself and not get hurt making cards. Uh, let's see. Hi, Pamela Minot. You just got here. Well, you know, you can watch the replay and, um, make your card. You can stay with us to the end and then go back and watch the replay to make your card. Okay. How are we doing? I see a couple of duns with six. I want to see some more duns with six. This was a little bit more, uh, creative. This is a creative step. Maybe I should do that. Clue number six is your creative step. <laughs> Get creative. Um, there we go. I'm seeing some duns with six. Okay. All right. 
We have 367 watching. Um, I'm sure not everybody is playing along, but if you are, that's huge. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. <clears throat> yes, the pre-sale that we're talking about, if you are a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, one of the perks is to <clears throat> be able to er order early. It's called a pre-order. And you know what, guys? If you're interested in getting what we're talking about, like all the stuff that's on the pre-order list from the new catalog that starts in May, <clears throat> contact me below the video. We can chat about you getting your starter kit and ordering some new stuff too. Mm -hmm. You can do that. Okay, Strum says, I can't, I can't stay up to order. I have so much already. I figure if it's sold out, I wasn't meant to have it. Then I can just order new stuff. There you go, Okay, I'm with you. I'm with you. All right. I think we're done with clue number six. <clears throat> yeah, Renee, this is the quietest you've been on, on the chat. <laughs> but I'm not going to make fun of you, Renee, because you have a good reason for being quiet. Clue number seven, add the stamped decorated basic white layer to the colored cardstock that measures two and a half by three and a half with adhesive. When you're done with clue number seven, type done seven. And just in case, <clears throat> I'm going to leave this here. If anybody still is looking at clue number six, you're welcome. Um, Jan said she's done. She already figured me out. She anticipated what I was going to tell you to do. <laughs> Some of y'all have been doing this with me for three years. In March, we should have had a party. In March was our three-year anniversary for mystery stamping, and I let the whole month go by? What is wrong with me? Man. Anyway, we started doing this during COVID. So many people needing to continue stamping and crafting. Some of y'all picked up stamping during COVID, found us mystery stampers and hopped on board and um, have been with us ever since. Started off on you, started off on Facebook doing mystery stamping there. Then I had so many people ask me to do it over here on YouTube. I didn't know how it was gonna work, but it worked beautifully. Um, so then I was doing two a day. Well, that took up my whole Monday. Started having more grandbabies and I needed to devote my time to family stuff and not just mystery stamping all day on Monday. <laughs> <clears throat> Debbie Aldridge, you're so right. Time flies when you're having fun and we have had so much fun. You guys have told me the most amazing things, how mystery stamping has helped you. If you're watching the replay, I would love to know if you're a mystery stamper, if you've been playing along with us, how has it helped you? Um, has it helped you be creative? Has it helped you realize it's just paper? You don't have to stress. Has it helped you find new stamping friends, your fellowship, your, your mystery stampers community? Sue Wall says, I'm so glad that you're doing mystery stamping on YouTube. Yeah, not everybody's on Facebook. So, all right, I think we're done. Let's move on to clue number eight. Add the stamped colored stamped layer and colored cardstock layer to the small flap on the front of your card. Kay Strom says, there's always time for a party. <laughs> you know what, Kay? We need a party. I, man, I'm so bummed at myself that I let that go the whole month. Didn't even dawn on me. We've talked about it before March, how we were coming up on three years. And now here it is April 3rd. Can I pretend that it's March 31st? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, thank you, Starla. She says that I bring, uh, bring y'all the best card ideas. I'm so glad. I think that by doing mystery stamping, you might make a card with us not realizing, oh, my gosh, that looks hard. Because I'm giving it to you step by step in the clues. And then all of a sudden you've done it. You're like, oh, 
I would have never tried that card on my own. Mm -hmm. I know. I've heard y'all say it. I've heard y'all say it. Um, let's see. Marilyn Eden says it has helped me use up older DSP and use stamp sets that I've never used. We all have them. We buy them because we think they're cute. Then we don't use them. Use them for mystery stamping. Some of y'all like to make your Christmas cards one a week for the whole year. And then come into November when you're ready to start mailing out Christmas cards, you have a stack. There you go. <clears throat> Mary Yates says it helps so much with creativity and inspiration. Yay. So we all say, I say that it's only paper. Girlfriends, it is only paper. Girlfriends and guys, I know we have some mystery stamper guys. It's just paper. If you can flip it over, use the other side. If not, cut another piece. Um, yes, Denise Smith, um, I think, is asking about the sale. <clears throat> if you're getting my newsletters, I sent out a uh, printout that was a larger font for you to read. Um, but there is up to 60%. You can go to my website. The link is below the video. All my videos, you guys, they're always, my link is there. So if you need to shop for any Stampin' Up! supplies, I would be honored to be your Stampin' Up! demonstrator if you don't already have one. Um, we have a new catalog coming out in May. That's why there's a big clearance happening right now. Okay, how are we doing? If you guys want to play along with mystery stamping and you're not on my newsletter list, again, below the video, join my newsletter list. Every Sunday, I email out the first clue. And then on Monday night, we get together and do this crazy thing. Share, Share H says, I have such a hard time cutting into DSP. It's just too pretty. I did cut it for tonight, though. Share, I am so proud of you, girl. I, I think that's a huge step. If you don't cut it, you can't enjoy it on a card. You got to cut it. You got to cut that DSP. Clue number nine. Add embellishments to your card if you want to. Only if you want to. If you don't want to, you're done. So you can either type all done or done with clue number nine. Let me know. Amanda says, excuse me. Uh, Amanda says, I just wish my cards weren't a bit crooked. Amanda. I will have you know that I only sit down to give y'all the clues for mystery stamping. I stand up to stamp and I stand up to put my cards together. I, I do it crooked all the time. I'm with you. So try that tip. See if it helps you. All done. All done. Deborah Clary says I've become more confident in creating cards. I'm so glad. <laughs> Lavina says, when I show my cards to my husband and I say it's a little crooked, he says, I don't see that. See, we're our worst, our worst critics. They really, you know, I take pictures of my cards to put on the blog post and in a project sheet. And I'm like, it is so crooked. Retake the picture, fix it, <clears throat> straighten it up in the photo, in the editing software. I, it has to be perfect. So we're our own worst critics. Okay, you guys are done. Lois uh, Buswell says, I'm playing along and keeping an eye on the voice program. Ah, the voice. Yes. Monday night, the voice. Okay. <clears throat> so here was my prop card. Okay. Time to reveal my mystery card. <coughs> Hold on. Wish you were here. Y'all know me. You know I love the beach. So I used, here's my whole card, love you to the beach and back. How cute is that set? Oh my goodness. Make a splash. Hello sunshine. Anywhere with you is paradise. Wishing you were here. Ah, uh, where did I get for the beach and back? Was that with, um, that was with the, um, I didn't pull it out. Um, friends are like seashells. That was the other stamp set I used. Um, and then I wanted some embellishments here. 
And so I use the flat adhesive backed pearls. Um, they're very iridescent. So super fun. I don't know if y'all can see. Look how fun they look. I thought those little, they look like little beach pebbles or something. And then I had to use, uh, what is it? By the Bay, Seaside Bay, all the Bay. Just type Bay in my, in my website when you're trying to find this stuff. Um, this paper is going away and it makes me so sad because it's all the beach things. And I love it. I love it. Um, okay, let's see if you guys... <clears throat> Deb says, I have to chuckle a little. When you send out the first clue, there are 12 steps. Tonight you have nine. Oh, the first clue had 12 items to gather for your first clue. Embellishment, stamps, adhesives. Yeah, yeah, I hear what you're saying. Anita says, if you cut DSP, then you can enjoy it many times with one piece of DSP. There you go. And you know what? You can go buy more DSP. <laughs> Uh, Laura says, I stand most of the time too. I did sit during this, but I'll probably, but this is probably the first. Yeah. I have to stand up. Um, Inika says she loves her card. You're so welcome. I'm so glad. Mine says, why are you telling me where you think you went wrong? Look at him, Virginia. That's amazing. Sue Wall says my husband can't spot my mistakes. <laughs> oh yeah. Mary Yates. Just tell him it was meant to be that way. Absolutely. I used to tell people straight causes stress. What's the number one rule of mystery stamping? No stress. Kate Wright says, I've learned so much from mystery Monday stamping. It has boosted my creativity so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. You guys, we have a great community here. If you're, if you're just watching, I hope that you will join us because you will love these people. Because they all have the same, they all have the same desires to play along, make a card, and take a picture of that card, share it, and then mail it to somebody. Y'all are mailing out these cards, right? I don't have to talk to you about that. You do mail them out, right? <laughs> okay, what is happening? <gasps> Who's coming to the Creative Eight Retreat? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Not this weekend, uh, next weekend. April 14th and 15th, I will be with my Creative 8 team members, uh, Jackie Bullheis, Connie Stewart, Brandy Cox, and myself are putting on an online retreat on YouTube. Um, we do have an optional Facebook group that you could also be a part of. Uh, you're going to get so much inspiration for just a mere 45 us dollars you can live anywhere in the world um yay i'm seeing that i'm going to the retreat looking forward to the retreat mm -hmm. um i give some as gifts my first retreat i even rescheduled my plans for saturday wow leanne that's amazing um okay so thursday night what's happening I will be doing these so cute, fun fold cards, four of them. And I hope that you guys will hop back over here on Thursday night at 7 p.m. Central to join me to learn how to make these cards. These cards will be, uh, the PDF will be formatted like this to go inside of our reference binder that so many of y'all are enjoying. And um, you're going to love these cards. They're so fun. So uh, let's see. Oh, Anita says she'll be at the beach, but we'll check in. Uh, permission to just go rogue is such a freeing concept. I signed up for the Creative 8 retreat. It's my first. Looking forward to it. Beverly, I'm so glad that mystery stamping has freed you from any stress of making a card. I've done my job. <laughs> All right, y'all. Uh, the blog post goes live in 15 minutes. If you want to hop over there and get that, the, get the rest of the clues. In the meantime, I'll see you over on the Facebook page and next Thursday, this Thursday night at 7 p.m. Central. Bye, y'all.